right, switching gears again, we want to give you a more broad look mm -hmm. at your weather for this coming week and it looks like it's going to start off on a on a good note. Yeah, it's going to start off on a dry note and in fact I think Tuesday is going to be a pretty sunny day uh, for most of us. So if you're looking for more sunshine, uh, that is coming. Uh, we did get, you know, some kind of drizzly showers today but uh, dried out pretty nicely this afternoon and evening. Here's what it looks like right now from our Rivermark Community Credit Union camera. Kind of pretty with the glow, right? Even with the cloud cover, you can see Tillicum Crossing is dry and it's very mild out there, 56 degrees. Uh, similar kind of look uh, from our Travel Salem camera, just slightly cooler in our capital city, 52 degrees there as we take a look towards Riverfront Park. So here's a look at your observed temperatures today in Portland, already starting the day warmer than average. Uh, average low temperature this time of year, by the way, is upper 30s. So we were already in the low to mid 40s overnight. And then notice how that temperature just kind of pops right up with those uh, sun breaks we got in the afternoon and certainly that south wind helps that's a warming wind so uh, we officially hit 58 degrees today at the airport so uh, seven degrees warmer than average here's a look at those highs today across the entire region so up and down the willamette valley seeing mid to upper 50s low 50s for our coastal communities and central oregon seeing some pretty mild temperatures as well mid to upper 50s for madras redmond and bend uh, let's take a look at the next few days here as we get ready for the next work week. Uh, we should be staying mainly cloudy and dry overnight tonight. Here's 7 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, most of the shower chances look to be north of us into uh, Washington, uh, but there is a slight shower chance there. But as the day goes on, I think we're going to see things uh, drying out. Certainly, we're going to see clouds breaking apart. So I think some afternoon sun breaks on tap for your Monday. And then we really clear out overnight. I think that's going to lead to some uh, fog developing in low-lying areas for your Tuesday morning. You can kind of see that uh, kind of hugging that I-5 corridor there. So once that mixes out, though, tons of sunshine on the way Tuesday afternoon. That's going to be a beautiful day for pretty much everybody west of the Cascades uh, and another dry day there. Then we get into Wednesday, which is Valentine's Day. Notice we have this system kind of moving from south to north. That's going to bring us pretty steady rain. Uh, it looks like Wednesday morning. And notice through the Cascades and east of the Cascades, snow levels low enough that we're going to get some snow accumulation. So February so far continues to be very mild for us in Portland. Lots of warmer than average days. Everything you see in red is a warmer than average high temperature. So we're running about 3.7 degrees warmer than normal. Uh, and as far as precipitation goes, it's been kind of drier than average. We're at less than seven tenths of an inch of rain uh, and we're kind of approaching that halfway point of the month. So Portland tomorrow, mostly cloudy to start few more afternoon sun breaks, but I think we're going to be dry uh, all day. You might see a, a shower in the morning. Temperatures topping out in the low 50s. Here's that seven day forecast. Another beautiful day on Tuesday. We'll keep it in the low to mid 50s and then turning wet on Wednesday. And I think we're going to hang on to that rain on Thursday. So kind of midweek is kind of your wettest uh, period. I think of the next seven days we will drop back into the upper 40s. Friday does look like a dry day still. Just a little bit cloudy as we're between systems. And then I think Saturday and Sunday we'll just have showers from time to time. Nothing looking very wet there. Amel?